uh, particular session where the we are talking about the global leadership competencies, uh, we will go that is the last time we have seen in the uh, uh, previous uh, sessions in these uh, global uh, talent leadership competencies that is the how to develop this particular competencies and uh, with the different companies uh, how they have implemented. In this uh, we will talk about the global talent uh, leadership uh, by the IBM, American Express and Coca Cola. Then the cross cultural competencies, then the factors influencing the growth of the global talent management and then we will using the case study. So, what is the global talent leadership uh, according to these companies are that is the executive coaching is important that is the uh, it is very very important. Uh, that when you are nurturing a talent hmm, and uh, the acquisition is there, so you have recruited the talented people. But many organizations face the problem that after they are joining, they are not able to deliver, output is not there. So, what is the reason they, why there is no output uh, into this uh, executive coaching and the reason is this uh, that is the, the time spent by these mentors, the coach. Uh, that, that is to be very much focused and systematized. If there is a systematic approach for the executive coaching, then definitely that will be the successful leading to the talent is there. Uh, in this case, we talk about the all the aspects uh, of this uh, the trainee or the, the talented employee you know, who is getting the coaching that he is the uh, psychologically and uh, uh, then the uh, the skill wise also the professional wise professional and personal level both it is not only the professional level but it is the personal level also that he is able to concentrate and develop this uh, belongingness to the organization and that is why uh, that uh, he will be having this uh, team optimization because once you know the strength and the weaknesses of your team member then definitely you will be able able to get work done accordingly uh, matching with the personalities and the what type of the job knowledge is having so there is an interaction between the coach so coach is uh, who is the personal trainer basically right so therefore he knows that is the my this particular young employee where he can do best and where he is require uh, a, uh, more uh, support and therefore, uh, uh, once understanding then allotting the different roles and responsibilities. So, there will be the team optimization will be there. Now, in the executive coaching and team op optimization uh, it, it is very important because now the, the generation uh, Z is there and generation X and Z it is important that is a new leader assimilation is, is there. So, new leadership style, the old uh, traditional leadership style uh, uh, that, that will be tested basically that will be uh, basic concept will remain same of leadership right to influence. But the way to influence that will be different uh, like nowadays we talk about the technology basically. Now, we, uh, we have moved from the uh, www world wide web to the www world wide wireless web. You know? So, therefore, in that case that new leadership style is the mobile, mobile banking, uh, mobile payment, mobile currency. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is important that is the how you are leading. So, this new leader assimilation that will help the, to take that particular uh, uh, the aspects uh, into the consideration that is this particular young generation how that is to be lead. If you we will try to lead them from the traditional way uh, then, then the, our tools and mechanisms uh, sometimes uh, may be challenged. Challenge means that is the our uh, that methodology will not be able to influence the young talented uh, employees. So, uh, therefore, this lead is required. Second is uh, that is about the development is there. So, talent strategies through with this coaching whenever there is a coaching is there and through this coaching you are developing your main power. So, this coaching is creating the development. So, this development is there and you decide the strategies. Uh, second as I mentioned that is the this leadership itself is required to develop leadership development by the leader and by the follower the team member both. 
both they have to develop that leadership style. Then the action learning is there that is the, the way they want to take these uh, learning. So, that uh, action learning uh, the what, uh, what actions are to be taken and uh, then there will be the road map uh, and then according to the road map there will be the learning will be there. Then transition, transition is the career transition services, career transition services are there, uh, they are shifting from the maybe the technical skills to the techno managerial skills. So, this transition that career transition services that will be also very important. Executive transition services are also there. So, therefore, in that uh, the, the executives uh, they will be uh, there who will be taking this particular transition and the change management is there. In the change management we know that is uh, how to make the change. So, in the change it is very important that is we are going for the pull technique pull versus push. this change. So, that is a pull versus push means that is the change whatever the change organization wants like a upgradation of technology um, level of the technology development and then in that case it will be the pull uh, pull technology will be there as compared to the push there means change is not pushed right rather than change is pull. So, they, they are taking the bringing up there change. So, this way you will find that is the there are these uh, global talent leadership is uh, there. Now, different companies uh, how they are going for these uh, um, te technology development uh, and uh, the uh, talent leadership development is there. Uh, so, here are certain points. <laughs> Yesterday we have seen the American Express model also uh, and um, uh, last in the last previous session we have seen that uh, American Express. Now, the attributes of a global leader. Uh, global mindset is uh, uh, set is critical right. Uh, so, we because why it is critical because it is keep on changing. So, when we are developing the knowledge workers, so that level of the knowledge, knowledge level 1, knowledge level 2, knowledge level 3, uh, knowledge level 4 and 5. So, that, that going up to the fifth level, so that, that, that uh, always we have to see that what is, what is lacking in that and that uh, identifying the weaknesses that is a critical evaluation, critical analysis and therefore, global mindsets are always critical. They are able to lead in a social world conscious and analytics and drivers environment is there. So, therefore, uh, they will be able to lead in a very uh, societal aspects that is the social aspects are there or uh, then they uh, so they, they should be accepted by the society. Societal norms should accept the changes we are bringing into this uh, uh, in, in your organization and uh, in, in into your workplace. And then the world conscious uh, and uh, uh, is there. So, naturally whatever you are doing uh, whether it is an environmental simple example is whether it is an environmental friendly or not. If it is environmental friendly then definitely you will be able to create that particular aspect in which the you want to develop the uh, that uh, leadership. And uh, uh, analytics driven environment is there. So, everywhere nowadays uh, we are talking about analysis and analytics. So, if we, we go for this the analysis and analytics then they, that will be the uh, always successful. So, IBM is doing uh, the changes uh, leadership development changes into a social aspects uh, into the world conscious and analytical aspects and the in the driven environment is there. Then it, uh, it is able to foster the collaboration within and between the teams. Ultimately, what is required? Managerial effectiveness is required, organizational performance is required, and that organizational performance or managerial effectiveness that will be fostered with the help of the within and between the teams are there. So, when the teams are working together, they will be the fostering the uh, performance. Highlighted program for the global leaders are IBM engages its uh, leaders in various programs and leadership experience to further enhance their global mindset and the cultural diversity. This is very very important. Whenever we are talking about the global mindset uh, in the previous session also I have talked in detail that is 
the how the leadership uh, that is going to be the enhance uh, the into the cross cultural aspect and therefore, the cultural diversity that is becoming important uh, including uh, uh, through the global uh, enablement uh, uh, team GT GT program is there. So, that is the how um, making the, the team uh, and uh, globally enable uh, and uh, the objective of the uh, this uh, GT program include the uh, deepening global mindsets what are the global mindsets enabling the competence in the cultural adaptability. So, therefore, in that case uh, that is uh, how to develop the, uh, the competence into the cross cultural uh, and, and the better connecting the local country teams always um, because there will be certain local teams will be there. So, you have to connect the cross cultural team. So, this connect between the local team and the cross cultural team global team that is very very important with the um, with the global company agenda of course. Uh, this is uh, consistent with the IBM's philosophy of uh, leaders developing leaders. So, those who are the existing leaders when you are acquiring the new talented employees. So, they are also potential leaders. So, therefore, leaders developing the leaders and leaders developing themselves also. So, therefore, it is a mutual learning takes place and mutual growth is there from the young leaders uh, those who are recently joined to the uh, established leaders those who are already working into the organization. When we talk about the um, American express the attributes of a global leader, then the global perspective with ability to understand and integrate external trends into the local strategies and goals. Uh, this is also very, very important like uh, if you see the IBM, then in the IBM it was the world conscious and social analytics driven. Here they are focusing on integrating the external trends into the local strategies and goals are there. So, this uh, integration of the external trends uh, uh, the identifying the external trends you know, external environmental factors that is what is affecting to our team performance and accordingly due to make the local strategies and goals. A mindset focused on the collaboration. Uh, learning, engaging and empowering teams. So, therefore, a mindset is required uh, for the collaboration among the different team members, uh, then learning is required and uh, uh, of course, uh, that learning will be the social process, social learning theories you know, that is uh, they are learning from each other, they are learning from superior. Then the engaging and empowering teams uh, that engagement of the teams is very much important into the jobs which they are supposed to do and the empowering teams are there. So, empowerment will be done. Ability to lead virtually in the global environment. Uh, so, therefore, uh, it, it is the uh, how this global environment is there and develop the ability for that and able to collaborate across the business. So, that is the collaborations to be the across the business is very, very important. How they are doing this? The American Express uh, Accelerated Leadership Development Program that is the ALD. Here we have seen the Global Enhancement Team GET. So, the purpose uh, of is that is uh, developing the talent at the global level that is the global uh, global level leadership is there. So, therefore, American Express Accelerated Leadership Development Program uh, that is the ALD is a unique program with sponsorship by the company's most senior executives that is uh, how the most senior executives uh, uh, they are sponsoring the companies uh, this program including the CEOs and president. So, therefore, topmost level also they are supposed to be get involved into the ALD program that is the Accelerated Leadership Development Program. And the program focuses on both group and individual learning uh, and covering the topic such as growth mindset. Mm, this is becoming uh, the uh, very, very important uh, because uh, if, if the mindset is not for the growth, then there will be no drive or force will be there. So, to make the uh, that uh, drive or force, it is the important that is the uh, there will be global mindset and this global mindset that will be taking the uh, the employees or manpower or leaders the to the next level extra gear. The yesterday we were talked about the uh, extra gear extra and the extra layer uh, uh, performance. So, that extra layer performance will be possible only when 
when we are having this in, in inclusion of the companies, the both the global mi growth mindset, right? There is a growth mindset and collaboration with the others, and transformational leadership is there. So ultimately, why we are doing all these GET, ALD programs, so that we can transform the employees, employees transformation uh, the, from the their current level of performance to the next level of performance. So so that the transformation is required. And then through this program uh, and the participation developed a strong network of peers, peer learning, learning from each other across the lines of business and geographies enabling greater collaboration throughout the company. So, because it is a global organization so across the glo glo global uh, learnings and therefore learning from the each other cross cultural functions are there and uh, geographically also enabling to eat, uh, greater co collaboration. And uh, as a result of which, coaching and mentoring are also provided by the senior leaders are there. So, therefore, what we have talked into the previous slide, that is the coaching, right. So, global level coaching is important and that coaching and mentoring are also provided by the senior leaders. And only if that, that, that is followed, only in that case your uh, employees, they will be having the competency for the global level leadership. The third one is the Coca-Cola. The attributes of a global leader uh, is the flexibility and the agility to quickly adopt to different markets and needs are there. Now, now, now you see that is the as, as you enter into a new culture, right? So you have to adopt adaptability. We have talked about uh, this in previous session also. That is the how the adaptability is to be developed. So, leaders in the current situation, what is required? Adaptable. See the situation and adopt accordingly. But if you will be not having the emotional uh, balance and uh, if you will not be able, you are not sensitized even to understand that what is going on, then definitely it, it will be difficult for a leader to be successful. So, therefore, that flexibility and agility to quickly adopt to different markets and needs are there. So, what are the different markets are there and needs are there and that is to be identified. An activator in mo mobilizing various teams, cultures and regions are, Im are important and therefore, uh, uh, these uh, various teams to uh, move forward and, and, uh, and action planning so that, uh, that the organization can get the results and they are becoming very, very important. And then able to strike a balance between having a global mindset and remaining locally relevant. So, it is a wonderful concept why it is the same what we are talking about that is the uh, local, vocal for local right and uh, what our prime minister says. So, therefore, vocal for local and think global. So, therefore, having a global mindset and remaining locally relevant. Now, the highlighted program for the global leaders are the Coca Cola's, the uh, Don Kef Leadership Academy is a highly experiential program that consists of a deep drive into three key markets around the world. Uh, that is the United States, Mexico and India. Uh, participants learn about each unique market. This is uh, important that is the they have to learn about the each uni, uh, unique market of the, uh, the country where, where they want to penetrate their product. Core strategies to be successful and the value chain from customers back through to the supply chain and other challenges. Right, that is the how the, there is a supply chain and other challenges on uh, leaders face in the markets and how they are being addressed. So, therefore, uh, it becomes very, very important that is the other challenges the leaders face in the market and, and whether they are, they are being addressed or not. The program uses leaders as teachers with external experts in critical areas. So, here you will find that is the, uh, the program, uh, 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 this particular program of the Coca Cola. So, there was the GET by the IBM, um, then the ALD by the American Express, and uh, here in this particular program, uh, which is the uh, drive by the leadership academy, uh, they, are, they, are they are making the core strategies, core strategies are there. So, we will find what is a common in three and common in three is that is the fo focus is on the growth mindset, global mindset and the developing 
core strategies into the unique market and the value chain from customers back through to the supply chain and other challenges leaders face in the markets and how they are being addressed. The program uses leaders as teachers with external experts in critical areas that what are the critical areas are there and there they have to perform. It also mixes in market experiences uh, with the formal teaching segments and the coaching is there and uh, as a result of which uh, when we talk about uh, here on all the three uh, the common is that is a coaching is common coaches are there those who will be training for the global mindset, growth mindset and uh, global leadership uh, and when you are mixing with this uh, with the product development then formal teaching segments and coaching will be done. So, what are the cross cultural competencies of the global leaders are there? Uh, the category of the cross cultural competencies are the self management competencies. So, what they are managing themselves then that is the this is very very important. Uh, uh, you see that is uh, the, these leaders or the, the potential leaders uh, they are required to know their core competency. Now, uh, in India normally we keep on saying that we are hard working, we are sincere that is uh, very good. But in addition to this uh, the, the, that is natural uh, 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 fine that is very much fine uh, that is a person is hard working. But the, when we talk about the next level leadership. Hmm. And then it is the extra layer. An extra layer, the uh, the strength will be whether you are intuitive, intuition is there, or you are a thinker. Uh, if you are a thinker, then you, you will go into that particular direction, or uh, you are this uh, sensitive person, so that the, the sensitization will be given, giving you a the new direction. So therefore, uh, are you are very much a judging, accurate judge. Uh, that it is your judging is very much uh, accurate. So, therefore, in that case you will find that, he, that, that self management competencies uh, uh, that is very important. Here the examples are given tolerance of ambiguity, self efficacy, liking for self, cultural curiosity, how much one is having and the resilience is there. If then, then, then in that case if these are the competence, simple competencies then enable a global leader to manage emotional responses in the complex and ambiguous cross cultural environment. If you are able to develop uh, the your this uh, self efficacy, resilience and uh, uh, cultural curiosity then definitely uh, you, you will be having the emotional stability and um, cross cultural environment will be there. Then there is the relationship management competencies that is a perspective taking. So, what perspective are, have been taken by the organization in the case of the development of uh, uh, this particular leadership. Here we will find that is the mindfulness uh, communication is very very important mindful. Mindful communication will be that is the how you are going to uh, interact with others and if you are able to interact with others uh, with the proper um, uh, way of communication then definitely when we are talking about the global mindset development of the growth mindset global mind global leadership then the mindful communication will be very much helpful in the relationship management competencies. The way you communicate in the relationship it becomes very very important that your selection of words, what words you are selecting and then even if you are uh, happy or you are unhappy. Uh, if you are happy then the what best positive words you are using. When you are unhappy how careful you are using the negative words. Right. So, therefore, mindful communication uh, th that will making the relationship management com developing the relationship management competencies, ability to form relationships uh, uh, between, between whenever you are working uh, as a leader. So, naturally there are so many people or you can say followers, but we will say employees hmm? some of them are followers some of them may not be, but when they, they then you are you are able to develop the relationship with them. So, therefore, that, that is becoming the simple competencies and the humility how much uh, humility you, you follow. So, uh, these competencies enable a global leader to connect with others from the different cultures cross cultural that is a very very important that is you are able to uh, develop uh, these uh, uh, your employees in the cross culture and communicate appropriately because you are mindful you are using the uh, mindful communication. So, you are you are communicating appropriately build the trust trust is built between the these uh, different uh, 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 the stakeholders uh, and gain the necessary credibility to 
lead. As is that of which your followers, they will give you the credit, um, uh, credit that is yes, this is a leader we want to work with you, you and that is the credibility will be developed. In the cross cultural competencies of global leaders, business management competencies. So, there was self management competencies, these were the examples, this was the impact. Uh, relationship management competencies, that is how you are developing that relationship uh, with the uh, different people, management, com uh, you are able to manage that relationship. And third is, that is a core competency, business management competencies are there. What is business management competency? The business management competency, the first will be the ethical decision making how ethical you are to take a decision and wh wh because why it is required because long term long term impact so if you are unethical that will work for the short term but if you are ethical that will go for the long term so long term ethical decision making will be applicable ability to network globally so therefore in that case that particular uh, ability to de develop the relationship network globally that, that will be helpful ability to adopt hold a standard or integrate cultural norms is needed always there will be a simple characteristics which will be having to whether you are adopting or you are not adopting because when we are talking about business management competencies then there you have to adopt but that is a suggestion how much people really will be able to follow that action that, that is to be seen. So, global ability to adopt hold a standard that is what type of the standard you are having or integrate the cultural norms. So, there will be certain cultural practices uh, as needed uh, as needed by the organization and the business environment world. Uh, receptivity uh, to di uh, diverse ideas working in the diversity so that uh, 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 you can at least and you may follow you may not follow but at least you are listening to them so therefore receptivity to diverse ideas are there ability to foster innovation so whatever innovation is there uh, suggested then you are able to foster that innovations and ability to influence the stakeholders so that the stakeholder says that is you are the right leader now in the business management competencies we will find that is the account for the business strategy what type of the strategy you are having we have talked about the different type of strategies like the blue ocean strategies is there and the, uh, in in that case there is no competition and you are the leading so what type of business strategy you are going to adopt uh, in the global level and uh, the key elements of the culture right like uh, unity and diversity is the culture of india so that is making you the more global uh, acceptable globally acceptable and the interconnected system of the context in what context you are doing the which includes the laws regulations level of education and similar factors are there and then which is including the different uh, laws are there and uh, regulations are followed uh, and level of the education and uh, level of education also makes a difference at what level your education is there so you understand what you are doing whether it is right or wrong uh, understand the ultimate professional goal. So, what is the ultimate professional goal? The ultimate professional um, goal is to be uh, in uh, that is the ROI, right. So, you are making so much of investment and the, what is you are expecting from your stakeholders? You are expecting from to your stakeholders that whether it is the emotional investment or it is the monetary investment, or it is a material investment, or it is the minutes investment, time management investment, or there are the methods investment. Um, so, uh, uh, our material investments um, very important. So, therefore, whatever the investments you are making, are you able to do the justice for that investment or not? So, uh, understand the ultimate professional goal. Uh, that is that that is the success uh, and respond in a manner and uh, that is the if you achieve the goal definitely you will respond in a manner very positively but if you are not able to achieve the goal then that that will be difficult uh, and respond in a manner that will have the intended outcome so w whatever the outcome you want to do you will be achieving that outcome on the basis of uh, this particular aspects so therefore when we are talking about uh, the different companies uh, and uh, like the IBM, American Express uh, uh, and the Coca Cola, we have to also understand that is the what type of the culture they are carrying. 
So, it is the US based culture is they are carrying or they are going by these uh, uh, different uh, dimensions uh, of the global mindset right and global leadership growth mindset is there cross cultural function, functioning is there and then if th that particular functioning is done so then these three factors of the leadership hmm, global leadership uh, competencies first is the leader has to manage himself. So, therefore, self management competencies. Second is that is the because he is a leader there are followers interpersonal relationship. Third one because these all practices huh, whether it is the self management relationship management whatever it is there what is required to develop the business management competencies. If you are able to develop the business management competencies then uh, that will have the intended outcome. Uh, so, this is an attempt is made. So, that by the help of the different companies and by analyzing their practices of the global leadership program whether it is a GET or the ALD or it is a global mindset leadership by Coca Cola right. So, all these three and they are combined and ultimately has to be seen that is the global talent leadership competencies are developed among the leaders themselves and followers naturally. So, this is as about the cross-cultural competencies and global leadership development. Thank you.